Hey guys, Mark here. Welcome back to another episode of Channel Commentariness. I'll, I'll I'll think of a better title, I swear. Just give me a couple years and I'll come up with a better title. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically a series now where I'll just talk about general news about the channel, kind of what's been going on lately, and a bunch of other random shit, really. Over the top of some high quality gaming content, like you guys have no idea how high esteemed quality that this gameplay is. And I know I'm gonna get a load of comments saying I'm basically just copying Kaltastic, some of which are by him himself, but what many people fail to realise is he himself actually copies Pyrocynical, and it's just kind of become this meme where I'm copying him who's copying someone else, so yeah, take that into consideration. What the fuck am I doing with my life? But yes, we just have a couple little, um, little things to go over here, including a little mini episode of rant about it. I know you guys used to love that series and I'm hoping I'm bringing it back. I just don't have that many things to go on rants about lately. Well, I, do, I mean I do, but it's kind of personal info, so that's kind of off the table really. Point is, I missed this series. I wish I could bring it back, but I don't really have a lot of topics. I do have a kind of half topic today, which I'll go over. It's basically just like a mini sequel to an episode I've already done. I thought I'd just throw it in here because I've got some other stuff to discuss anyway. So today's first topic of discussion is my holiday to Rome. It's literally just two, three more days until we take our flight. I've got to get up at fucking four in the morning to make our flight. Have you guys noticed that whenever you're going abroad, you always have to get up ridiculous o'clock uh, to get there. But when you're going back, it's a perfectly reasonable time. Is, is, is it just me or does anyone else have this issue? Because it's really annoying. Like, I'm already up at ridiculous o'clock as it is, and I normally don't go to bed till midnight. I'm, I apologise, Mum, if you're watching this. But yeah, we've been going to Rome. I have discussed in a previous um, channel update thing. There we go, that's a bit of a better title, really. But yeah, I discussed in the previous episode how I will be doing a few vlogs of Rome. And, well, basically the deal is that I will be filming the vlogs, but because obviously I'll be away from my PlayStation 4, I won't be able to really edit them. And so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to have some, um, I'm going to have the, I'm just going to upload them from there, just unfiltered, and then later on replace those vlogs with the edited version. So I will be uploading one vlog per day, really, just kind of general update of what I've done that day. And then I'll just um, make an edited version of that same vlog um, when I get back, and then I'll just take the old one down and put the new one up. Uh, I just thought it would be a good way to do it, really. Just so I don't keep you guys waiting too long, really. I, I don't know. But yeah, that's all I really have to say regarding the whole Rome situation. Uh, I'm open to enjoy myself there. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs. But yes, on to subject number two. This is a bit more of a brief one. I've started to become a bit more active on Twitter. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, it's exactly the same username as my YouTube channel, SquareGB. You, you should be able to figure it out. You're not, you're not that daft, hopefully. Actually, if you're watching this channel, you, you probably are. But yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit more active, uh, bit by bit. I'm starting to take to Twitter a little bit more often here and there. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll actually do shit with my actual Twitter page. Because right now it's just desolate. Just the odd update every now and then. The basic point is, I'm going to be on Twitter a little bit more often. So it's actually a little bit more worthwhile to actually follow me there. Point number three, this is a very brief one. It seems we're starting to get a little bit of steady growth for the channel. I've noticed that every week or two we gain one more subscriber. It's a very slow process, but it's nice to see that I'm actually gaining subs. I'm not just stuck on 49 like I was for ages. But yeah, that's very nice to see, and um, that's basically all the like generic update things out of the way. Now let's move on to the... Rant about it. Yes, now we're on to the kind of mini sequel rant about it thing. Where today it seems that a threat has resurfaced. An old enemy has returned in a new form. I don't know why I'm building it up this much. Cause it, uh. But yes, basically, me being me, just kind of looking through my old videos, realizing how cringy my first one was. I mean, seriously, I would easily take it down in a heartbeat if it wasn't my second most viewed video on the channel, and somehow, I'm not sure that's a good thing. So I'm just checking the comments of a couple old vids, and then I come across this. 
Now some of you might actually remember this username back from the feud I had with Shay McDonough, a YouTuber who I've basically is just water under the bridge at this point, we're not really in any sort of kerfuffle at the moment. But this person apparently didn't get the message. Now if we go back to my original rant about it, about Shay McDonough, I addressed the point that this commenter, it, it, it's Shay's mum, there's no point hiding it, it's literally just his mum. But basically, this comment made me think for a second, then I realised something. Guys, this whole feud I had with Shay, it was never his fault to begin with, really. Like, obviously, when he was still in school, he did the odd thing that ticked us off, and it was not our deal. But basically, the point being, this whole thing between my channel and his channel that got me banned from my channel for a month as a punishment, that just spiralled into fuck shit craziness. It was, it was never him. There was not one hateful comment that came directly from him. It was always his mum. Bad shit, crazy psycho mum. Now, of course, there was one exception to this whole ordeal, in which case there was one comment from the dad, basically. Certain call, it, it's an empty threat, right? You know that they're not actually going to go through with it, because then you'll know that they'll see his end. I've already discussed this all. Just, just go watch the old video, really. It, it, it addresses this whole thing. But I looked at that comment and this one, and I realised the wording is almost exactly the same, and then I had another thought. Do you think the mum made the dad say that? I mean, look, let, actually, hang on, let me just make this easy and show both comments side by side. It is exactly the same basic, basic frame of the comment. So I think this whole thing has just been from one individual who it never really affected in the first place, really. And it's just made me question my whole thing that I had with him in the first place. And I remember I was like demanding an apology off this like, at the end of the thing, and he actually responded quite hastily. And if you actually search on my YouTube channel, his apology is the first one you see. Most of the time, anyway. But now I realise that this whole thing never should have happened. Like, I, I'm not sure if he's watching this, like, I'm, I don't watch his content at all, so I doubt he's watching this. But if you are, shame at Donna. I'm so sorry I dragged you into this. Like, I know we kind of butted heads a bit, me and my kind of posse. We are not a posse, I did not just say that, oh my god. But you get what I'm saying, me and the lads really... We, we kind of butted heads with you a lot, and sure, that was kind of crappy of basically both of us. But on YouTube anyway, this whole feud never had anything to do with you. It was your mum right from the get-go. So, I am sorry for this whole thing, really. So yeah, that was one crazy mindfuck that happened, really. The sudden realisation that the... In fact, you know what, I'm not even sure why I'm even still talking about this. But you, you get the basic thing, really, so I fucked up, pretty much, and I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're already okay as it is. I know that in his video he apologised, and of course the dad did as well, because, um, well, they're, they're alright people now, I think of it. But the mother never did. But what I originally thought at that point was just she wasn't in the house at that point in time, and he just wanted to get this out as quickly as possible to clear out the air, and that would make sense. But she herself never directly apologised, and this this comment is from three months ago, which was quite a while after the feud had already ended and was over with, basically. She is still on the case. She, she's still going, guys. She will not drop it. Now, obviously, the past has taught me that this kind of it's uh, it's no there's no point responding to this whole thing and kicking it up again. It's it's not going to go anywhere. A couple empty threats, a couple insults. This, it's completely unnecessary, but I just gotta say, this person is relentless, really. But anyway, I'm gonna drop it there before she starts threatening to call the police again, which she's never gonna do, let's be honest. But yeah, that's basically the mini rant about it, and this video concluded, so, um, I'm sorry, Shay. This whole thing basically had nothing to do with you in the first place, and, um, yeah. Basically, this video, I don't know how to end this video. So that's all I really have to say for this video. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like or dislike, depending on your preference. I don't mind either way, because either way, it helps support the channel. And let it grow. But yes, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe, like, dislike, any of those three will help the channel, really. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.